they even did a great job. So I just want to encourage them today. Let us go to God in prayer. God, I thank you that you be with us today, God. God, I pray that you watch over us today, God. God, be with the youth today, God. God, watch over them today, God. Anoint their little heads, God, when they go out, God. God, let them begin to pray in school, God, when they when no one else is around, God. God, let them begin to pray whenever they feel depression, God. God, let them be able to pray when they're being bullied, God. God, we pray that you touch them, God. God, we pray that you touch everyone here in this house today, God. God, we to God. In the times that we are living in today, our young ones need to draw more close to God. Because we're living in a time of the end. Where so much is going on, so much criminal yes. activities are going on, and it makes me think and reflect back Turn it around and that she will be arrested. In California, a 10 year old girl being bullied, her nine year old sister finds her dead for her committing suicide, for being bullied in school. Who would not say that we are not living in the times of the end mm -hmm. where we have to protect? our youth. Uh -huh. Well, we have to be more productive as parents and to watch our kids closely. Yes. Because in this, for children to be disobedient to parents. Don't we see this today? Yes. Don't we see it all today that is going on in this world? Don't we see so many kids that are talking to their mothers any kind of way? The mother would tell them to do something and they'll snap back or they'll lay down on the floor. All of these things that we are talking about in the Bible, it is coming forth. It has already been all up through there. Times when I just see kids, I'm sitting at the desk, driving, shooting, 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 shooting. No care in the world. Every day is a cop on the road. When is it going to get into our kids' mind that now it is a time to stop such mess? When is it going to get in our kids' mind that we are killing our own selves? It has to be a time when it stops. And if you look at John chapter 2 and verse 18, it says, Children, it is the last hour. And as for you have heard that the inner Christ is coming. And he has come, therefore you know that it is the last hour. It's time to get it together. Because as the Bible says that it is the last hour. And then if you look in chapter 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2. The three is here that he will come as a thief in the night. Does a thief give anybody out here any warning that he's coming? I don't think he will give you a thief. A thief will even come in your house when you're asleep. We have to remember that when we're living in this last times, as the Bible says, that he will come as a thief in the night. He will come without a warning. Without a sign. So it's time. We don't have too much time on our hands to continue to play. We have, we're exposing ourselves to the world with no care. We're revealing ourselves with no clothes on, on the internet. Don't you know that there are sexual predators out there that are watching? Everything that you do. And we wonder why when we go out and go to the end of the road, someone has got your address because you already exposed yourself to social media. Then I'm here. Don't we know in Washington, D.C., how many women are? Oh, a lot of our kids are in school, and you have this little one that's always aggravating you. The first thing we need to do when we are in school is to let somebody know.
Always let an adult know when something's going on with you. Even when our kids are being trapped, we have so many people doing things to our young kids. Young kids, never be afraid if someone that's doing something bad to you. Never be afraid to tell your parents anything. If they say, I will kill you if you tell them did something good, they will continue. They'll want to continue. They'll continue to go on and do the things because they're looking for some goodness from you. And in the Bible, in Colossians chapter 3, and verse 21, it says, Fathers, do not provoke your children so they will not become discouraged. We have to always continue as parents to continue to uplift them. Because our children are our future. They are our leaders. They are the ones, our generation, we want to break these generational curses. Generational curses have been going on for years. Just because grandma did it, father did it, we don't have to do it. Because grandmother was a drunk, granddaddy was a drunk, I don't have to be a drunk. Because grandma used to curse, and grandma had a look of house, I don't have to continue to have a look of house. Because grandma got pregnant at 15, and then the Mama got pregnant at 15. It's time for all of these generational curses. It has to stop. But in order for it to stop, we as parents have to continue to motivate our kids, continue to give them things to do. And I know for me and my husband, we was at Lewisburg College. And we first started the ministry. It was a little guy. He was always there. And he just came up into the sanctuary. He was sitting over in the corner. And after service, it was something that I said after service that caught his eye. And he said, thank you for saying that word. He said, my father was a crackhead. And my father was on crack. But we always told him to continue to pray. He called us up. And he said, I didn't forget that he even had my number because it's been a while. And he said, I just want to thank you. He said, even though I fell out of school, I found something that I could do. I drive trucks long distance and I'm making good money. He didn't give up, but he always remembered an encouraging word. He said, you always put an encouraging word in my head. And to this day, this is a little boy, he's only 21 years old. He's a long distance truck driver, making good money. But he found something that he can do within himself. Even though it wasn't for him, school, college is not for everybody. So even though it was something that struck him to encourage to them, continue to always want to just put a smile on their face. Once we already mentioned, once we feel like everything, when everything is against us, we have to remember that God is a healer. He is a protector. Even when the most little things, we have to remember that God is a protector. <clears throat> and in the 70s, it's not the same. I never always knew to understand why my grandmother used to say, I wouldn't want to live in your time. I'm glad that I'm living in the time that I am now. I never understood why she would say that. And as a little child, I'm looking at my grandmother as in a sense of saying, you're old, grandma. I said, what a, I'm young. But my grandmother saw things that I was going through. She saw the generation, what the generation was going through. Her generation didn't go through all of those things. So she didn't have the face in the world that we're, we're living in today as far as our youth of things that they're going through. As you get older, you begin to understand what the older people are talking about. But one thing that I can say, that I know a man, and this man is Jesus, yeah. and I know from John chapter 3 and verse 16, yeah. that he for so ever loved us, yes. that he gave his only begotten son, yeah. that we may have life, yes. and we may have it abundantly. Yes. That is something that I do know. Yes, sir. I know that Jesus died, yes, and I know that 
God gave his only begotten son. Yes. I'm mighty praying for you. Yes. There's hope for our kids. Yes. There's things that our kids that we don't need to give up on. What I used to be, I'm not anymore. What you used to call me, you can't call me anymore. Because Jesus washed away his blood. He washed away my sins. I continue to pray. I know where the Heavenly Father is. I know where his help comes from. I know where my help comes from the Lord. And I know where my strength comes from. My strength comes from God. No man can yes. take that away from me. Yes. I don't care how many words, I don't care how you begin to call or dog out people, there's a God. Yes. And he forgave us for all of our sins. Yes. He, the blood. Yes. When they begin to talk about you, when they begin to put out your name yes. and say bad things, all you have to say is the blood. Yes. The blood. Yeah. Begin to call on the blood. Start calling out Jesus. Yes. That's all you have to do. That's it. Because God is a God who loves us. Yes. God is a God who cares for us. God is a God who's going to protect our kids. Yes. Regardless of what they're going through. We serve a God, a mighty God. Yes. There's nothing impossible for him. So regardless of how it looks, it's going to get better. So I hope that our youth today, if any one of you want to be saved, yes. and you know the Lord, that Jesus is Lord, and he died for your sins, would you come? These generation of Christians, they're going to stop. They're going to stop. It's a time right now for it to stop. It has to stop. Pray first and then give it to pass the ball. After you pray, you go. Yes. Yes. Father God, we ask you, Lord, to use these 
babies right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. You know, it goes from the youngest to the oldest, Father God. We ask you, Lord, to keep them in a mighty way. We ask you, Lord, that you would touch their families, their parents, Father God, their grandparents. And we cause them, Father God, to seek your face, for Father God, before they make a move. Father God, that they will have the right direction, Father God, and have the right instruction as they give to their child. Continue to bless them. Continue to use them, Father God. We thank you, Lord, right now. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, merciful Father, we just thank you, God. Hallelujah, we thank you for the youth, God. God, we just touch each one from the front of the head to the sole of the feet, God. Oh, God, if when they're going wrong, God, if you allow them to go right, right, Jesus. God, we just praise you today, God. But they could have been in the graveyard, God. But you have them still here with us, God. And we just give you all the honor, all the praise, God. Oh, hallelujah, 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 Jesus. We just thank you for their walk, God. Glory to God. God, you just have them be respectful, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Let them change the ways, God. Whatever the bad ways was, God, you just let them change it. On today, God, we'll give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory, God. If there's any sickness in your body, God, you just touch it right now, God. Heal it in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory, God. They are our future. Oh, you see our hearts. God, we thank you for the future, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, we thank you. The way they preside today, the way they did scripture today, the way they did prayer today, the way they sang today, God. We thank you, God. We glorify you, Father, because without you, it wouldn't be him, God. And we just glorify you, praise you, and we magnify you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, at this moment, God. All the youth, God, that you would give them a mind to praise. Yes. Oh, yes. God, oh, God, oh, God. When they're in school, God, if they give you the praise, God. When they're at home, God, if they give you the praise, God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. We just want to praise you, Father. Because if you are not with them, they, they don't have anybody. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. You are wonderful, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah.
in the mighty name of Jesus. We are counseling every assignment of the devil today. Our children will be saved and set free. We are speaking those things as though they were. Oh God, you said, keep me in remembrance of my word. God, you said in your word that if there's anything that we ask in his name, that you will do it. That we can stand. Hallelujah. When people come against us, oh God, that we will not waver, oh God. Regardless of what the world is doing, Jesus, we know that you are Alpha and Omega. We know that you're beginning and end. You know that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, God. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 yes, sir. Oh, my sin. Oh, she can't have my sin. Oh, God, thank you. Hey, hey. They will sing lonely. 
that they can't talk to nobody. But God, you would give them the strength. They seem like they have no friends. They seem like they're not popular. But God, you would give them the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We're buying up the enemy today. He has to flee. He has to get out of camp. He has to get out of Dodge. He has to get out of your life. He has to get out of your body. Because we are calling it out now. Release from him. Release from her. This day in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you today. Hallelujah that that spirit. Hallelujah will be no longer in him. Hallelujah that you will replace it now. With all of your goodness. With all of your ways. With all of your love in the name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're praying for every aid patient. Oh God, we're praying for those on dialysis. Oh God, we're praying for those that are dealing with sugar diabetes. Oh God, we're praying for those that are dealing with depression. Oh God, anxiety. Oh God, we're praying for them, God, that that spirit be removed from them today, God, that they will have the joy of the Lord on the inside of them, that they will fight. Hallelujah, that was in the house. Thank Hallelujah, you. God. We thank you right now. Hallelujah for all things this day. We are thank you today, God, that there has been a release of the Spirit. Hallelujah, that there has been a drop it off today at the altar, God. Hallelujah for a renewed mind today. Hallelujah, Jesus. I glorify you today, God. Hallelujah, because the form of things will pass away. I, I thank you. Hallelujah, thank you. Oh God, this is my prayer for all of your people. Hallelujah. That we came with repentance this day. Hallelujah. That we don't have to look on yesterday. We can look for tomorrow. We can look for right now. Hallelujah. That greatest he that is in me, that he is in the world, God. I thank you. Ah, yes, Lord. For everything. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Forgive us this day for anything that we did wrong. Creating us a clean heart. Renew our mind to our right spirit. Let this day be a new beginning for the many. That they don't look on yesterday, God. But at this moment, you have showed them grace and mercy. You have forgiven them because we came to the altar and with repentance, oh God. We repent! We repent! Hallelujah. For all things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We thank you, O oh God. Thank you. Hallelujah. For your spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that there's a praise on the inside of somebody today. Hallelujah. Release it. Release your praise. It's something about that praise. It's something about praising him. Hallelujah for your victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something about your victory. Oh, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Your victory is today. Your victory is today. Hallelujah. Changes come today. For all those that believe. Tomorrow's not promised. We got to go to a funeral today. I can check out here right now. But glory to God, he has enough love for me that I'm not consumed. Hallelujah. And that's one of you out today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going all of the brothers. We're going out to eat. Yes, the brothers. Wives, if y'all want something to do, y'all look over each other. So, so, so don't sit there and say, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't leave at home, man. She wanted to go. <laughs> Amen. So we, we need the fellowship. This is us. You know, we're going to go out, boy. That's been bragging on this spot. And we got these wings. I'm going to add to you, too. <laughs>
Amen. Amen. You know, so this is good fellowship. Pop, you ready? You gonna be ready to go? All right. I know you're ready. I'm gonna be ready to go. And, and that's the fellowship, the bond that we need as brothers in the building of the kingdom. So Saturday, uh, you know, I'll close the shop. I think we said about, we'll meet up maybe about 5 o'clock maybe, or four, four, <laughs> between 4 and 5, yeah. we may meet here in the church. So we, if we, you know, need to connect and call food, we can. All right, men, you be ready? No, know you be ready, bro. Amen. <laughs> I'll be ready. And we're going to do more things for fellowship. Now, y'all ladies, you know, need to gather these, these young women up around your, your, around your, your arms. You know, when y'all go out, your spirit can, can rub off on them. Sometimes it could be through fellowship of going out and eating and to have a, 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 a new day. So whenever y'all come together and decide, y'all do it. But we going the last Saturday of the month. Go ahead and tell your the wife now. So they had like they didn't know. I ain't know you going. All the wives in here, did y'all hear us? <laughs> hey man, don't be playing with that. Cause y'all are here. We're going out and eating. Amen. Any other announcements? Um, I had one announcement. This is an annual pastor's fellowship, and it comes from our pastor Victoria um, Peterkin, and it says, it's that time again. Please see the attached invitation there on announcement leaflet formats, and it's regarding the Bishop Vernon L. Peterkin annual fellowship lunch.